Okay, this video is about uh, the reactivity series of metals, basically how metals are reactive and how so and so what about it. Okay, so let's start. Now, this is something that you have to memorize. Scientists came out with a list of metals. Uh, potassium is right at the top, and all the way down to platinum. I have left hydrogen there as a marker, so that we because it's a useful marker. Hydrogen, by the way, is not a, it's a non-metal, but I have left it in the list so that uh, it, it is easy to study. So as we go down, we have potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen, copper, mercury, silver, platinum. So how we studied it is: please send cats, monkeys, and zebra in. In is iron, large lead, hired cages, make mercury, sure, padlock. So please send cats, monkeys, and zebras in large hired cages, make sure padlock. Potassium is the most reactive metal in the series, followed by the least reactive, which is platinum. Now gold is also somewhere there in some list that is given. Okay, so what about it? Now the first group of metals, when they react with uh, liquid water which is just pure water what you will get is MOH a metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas when they react with steam you also get this uh, metal hydroxide and hydrogen gas but because they are in group one they are alkaline you will get an alkaline metal alkaline is formed however this reaction is very very violent because they are so reactive okay you probably get an explosion Okay, it's a violent reaction, so we will never put this group of metals in water to get a hydroxide. No, no, bad way. Now, the second group of metals are less reactive. So when you put them with water, there is no reaction. However, when you put them with steam, you will, they will form a metal oxide. Example, zinc oxide plus H2. If you put aluminium with steam, you get aluminium oxide plus H2. The last group of metals simply can't be bothered. They are unreactive from lead all the way down. With water and steam, there is basically no reaction. So from there, that's how we categorize. Okay, let's look at their reaction with acid. Okay. In the case of acid, same thing. Metal plus acid, you will get a salt plus hydrogen. However, this reaction is so violent, uh, not, not a good way. You should not put like, this metal with acid or water. Next group here, next category. When they are reacting with acid, you will get salt plus hydrogen gas. Ah, but take note, the reaction as you go down the, the list, this group here, the reaction will simply get lower and lower, slower and slower. Okay? Reaction will still come on, but it will be slower and slower. And the last category, basically anything that is below hydrogen will not react, have, will not react with acid. So, Copper, pure copper, reacts does not react with acid. Okay. So let's maybe do the first one. Let's try out this magnesium plus H two O. Okay. Find out which category is magnesium in. Let's look at the water. Magnesium is in this category. Does it react water? No reaction. Okay. In the case of Steam, magnesium plus steam, magnesium plus steam, that is a reaction. We get a magnesium oxide plus H2. So we get a magnesium oxide plus H2. Okay, magnesium oxide will be Mg2 plus O2 minus. So you get MgO. Okay, let's look at this. Is there a possible reaction? Potassium, steam, and water. Potassium is in the first category, violent reaction. In both cases, we get a metal hydroxide and H2. So you get KOH plus H2. KOH plus H2. But this is a very violent reaction. How do we get KOH? K plus OH minus. So you got to work it out. Okay get the hydroxide okay we have covered this okay so basically this is a summary table uh, this is something that you got to memorize okay how do we study this is we learn the boundary 
KC is the same for both reactive. We get alkaline here. In the case of water, we get an alkaline. In this group here, we get a metal oxide. In the last group here, no reaction. So how we study is KC, MF, MF for this side, MH for this side. We don't need to learn PP or CP because this is the last group. So if we learn the list correctly, learn the boundary from K to C, M to F, K to C, M to H. Let's try to form some uh, funny sentence from it and you understand.